Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Gardener. In today's video, I wanted to show you this absolutely beautiful Kalenkoi that is blooming. Now this is called as Kalenkoi Hamlis. I'm not very sure if I'm pronouncing the name correct. I'll put it up on the screen. It's also called as the Desert Surprise. Now I have noticed that Kalenkois are generally very easy uh, first free plants uh, they tend to work really well whether you are a beginner whether you are an experienced gardener kalenkois can be very easy on you uh, they are very forgiving plants usually they do not get affected with mealybugs or any kind of pest issues that is one of the headache that a lot of gardeners have so these are quite resilient to pest attack and if they tend to work out really well in your environment or if they are very comfortable in your environment they can even turn out to be invasive so if you are a beginner you want to go with with something that is very easy i think kalenkois are one of the plants that you can add in your collection they are not exactly succulents but they do have succulent like features uh, i wouldn't categorize them as succulents because they don't fall under the family of uh, crassulacea so they are a different genus or they are from a different family but they have a very succulent like care or i would say very succulent like requirements they can go underwater for a longer period of time and they wouldn't even have issues and this is the first time that i'm seeing this particular variety is blooming i haven't seen blooms on this variety for a very long time and it looked completely different when i had it initially i'll probably try to find a video clip or a image of it because i had this kalenkoi for a very long time and it looked completely different when i initially had got it it had more striking red stripes but i think over the period of time uh, the stripes uh, have uh, not faded off but the color the intensity has reduced a little bit even though it gets a good amount of morning direct sunlight for five to six hours uh, but the colors have kind of changed uh, even the new growth i don't see a lot of striking stripes red stripes on it uh, it's a little bit more subtle but overall the plant is doing quite well uh, it has two bloom stalks that are coming up so i'm very excited about it and uh, overall the plant is doing quite well now with kalenkois i have noticed that they are not very fussy or demanding about a particular kind of soil mix they will do well in any kind of soil mix as long as it's loose porous and well draining and uh, if there is a little bit less nutrients in the soil they will do quite well uh, in fact some of the kalenkois are just unattended and they are doing quite well I at times forget to water them for almost a month and they're still doing quite well. Uh, they also tend to put out uh, puplets on the edges of the leaves but not on this particular one. I haven't seen it on this one. Uh, on the other varieties, I do see pups that tend to grow on the edges of the leaves, but not on this particular variety. But overall, it's a very easy to grow plant. Give the basic care requirements, loose, porous, well draining soil mix, a good amount of light, either direct sunlight or indirect bright light, and the plant will do quite well. So guys, that's about it. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.